I started in marketing, marketing um, as a discipline was very poorly understood in Australia. It was much better understood in the US, but it was fundamentally a fuzzy set of um, practices. Um, and was backed up by not a lot of data and not a lot of uh, real uh, insight into customer, customer behavior um, because it was mostly mass markets. So if I look at what happened 20 years ago to today and project forward, I'd say that hundreds of markets of millions of people are now turning into millions of markets of hundreds of people. And the capacity to be able to use technology to capture behavior and to be able to leverage that technology to provide insights into what people want, who the right target audience is and getting the right message and the right offer to the right audience at the right time, and leveraging platforms like mobile, takes advantage of these emerging clusters of millions of markets, of small markets that have very specific sets of needs. Now some of the tools um, that have emerged, things like big data, have emerged because data is now much more easy to manage. Processing costs have fallen um, 40 to 50 percent. Uh, per year for the last 10 years. Data storage costs have fallen 60% per year every single year for 60 years and it will continue to go that way. The ability to be able to um, target audiences based again on um, analysis of uh, mass behavior uh, and identify trends at very fast speed means that Visa for argument's sake that used to take um, a month to process 73 billion transactions can now do that in 13 minutes. Now, what can you now do if you know and you can detect a trend in 13 minutes that previously took you a month? Uh, or more importantly, if you are using a big data approach and your competitors aren't, and you can detect a trend in 13 minutes and they're still taking a month, what sort of opportunities from a competitive point of view does that open up? So. We're also seeing this massive empowerment of the consumer. It used to be that uh, consumers would just take whatever products were sold to them because there wasn't that much choice. You know, when I was growing up, we had four television channels. And, uh, you know, I, I can't count how many uh, video choices we have now. But is for all intents and purposes, for all intents and purposes, it is unlimited. So we have unlimited choice. We have abundance of choice, which comes along with a lot of noise. So the challenge for marketing going forward is to really understand and to differentiate themselves amongst a sea of competitors, to really do product market fit and deliver a value proposition to that particular set of consumers. Um, and to, to direct the message so that it would resonate in an emotional way. So just because one particular product uh, may be technically as capable as another product, doesn't mean that they'll win or that there's any inherent advantage. If one product is more visually attractive and emotionally appealing, then they're much more likely to actually win that incredibly competitive pitch.